Hello everyone, I'm Brad Henson. You know, I was just messing around in the garage, uh, playing around with some LEDs, and came across something that I thought was pretty interesting and wanted to share with everybody. Now what I was trying to accomplish was to measure the forward voltage on some LEDs that I have. I don't have data sheets for them and yeah, I was kind of curious to find out at what point, at what voltage the LED would start to illuminate and how much current that it would draw. Now to accomplish that I have an LED setup being powered from my home built power supply. Now on the positive rail I'm going through an EV blog microcurrent and on, then I'm tied directly in on the negative rail. Now to take uh, measurements my multimeter is then connected to the voltage inputs on the microcurrent and what this microcurrent allow me to do is to get rid of the burden voltage of my multimeter and effectively allow me to measure um, current using my volt setting on the multimeter. Uh, Dave Jones has done a great job with a with a write-up and explanation of how the microcurrent works and so I'll make sure that that's linked down below. Now a word of caution uh, before I go any further, you should always use a current limiting resistor in conjunction with an LED. Uh, with that being said, of course, uh, I'm not using one in this case. Uh, however, I don't plan on taking the voltage beyond the forward voltage of the LED. And if I did, uh, more than likely the LED would uh, draw enough current to, to internally melt down and become a dead short. Uh, which, of course, I can't demonstrate right now because this power supply doesn't have a, a way of limiting current itself and so I would end up damaging, possibly damaging my power supply as well. Anyway, back to the point of the video. Uh, what I found interesting and what I wanted to share with everybody is how accurate this current panel meter is. You know, I only paid a few dollars off of eBay for one of these Chinese um, run-of-the-mill panel meters and really didn't expect it to have performance better than 5 or 10 milliamps at best you know plus or f minus uh, 5 10 mil milliamps and what I'm seeing here uh, in comparison to a more expensive multimeter is that I'm within a hundred microamps of the reading of the re uh, expected readings now of course that doesn't speak to uh, how long this panel meter will stay accurate and uh, you know things down performance uh, down the road a year five years from now but still I think it's cool you know for three dollars I'm able to take very accurate measurements in a homegrown power supply now to show that it's not, you know I've only applied uh, just under two volts to the LED and it started to illuminate a little bit and to show that it's not just at, uh, you know, two or three uh, hundred microamps, we can apply a little bit more voltage. And of course, I'm not going to go too much higher. I, I would assume that this LED has a forward voltage drop of right around three volts. And so I can't go a lot further past that without running the risk of it melting down and, and ultimately damaging my power supply as a short. But we can add a little bit more and see just how accurate this meter is and again we're a little over two volts and we're showing uh, 12 milliamps almost 13 milliamps uh, that's just amazing well I'm gonna keep messing around here on the bench uh, thanks for watching catch you next time